and I'll just tell him, oh, hey. What Hey everyone, I'm Leanne and today we are trying out Minami's 2015 Dine Out Vancouver lunch menu. Minami is located in Yale Town and they're a sister group to Miku and Gyoza Bar. Sorry the video is a little outdated since Dine Out Vancouver is no longer happening, but the good news is the items I'm trying today are on their regular menu, so if you like what you see, you'll definitely get a chance to have it whenever you come to visit. The first item on the menu is miso soup, and you can see I was happily enjoying that in the beginning of the video. What I like about the soup here is that they added bits of enoki mushroom, which I think gives more flavor and texture to the broth, apart from the usual tofu and seaweed. I just want to point out here that on our table there are no soy sauce bottles. Why? Because all the pieces of sushi at Minami have either its own sauces on top, or the flavors are enough that there is no need to add additional soy sauce to it. Amazing! Known as Minami Zen on the regular menu, I also got to have four different items placed in a traditional Japanese hinoki wood box. And I know I said that this was on the regular menu, but I believe the items in the box get switched depending on the time of the year. So you might not get exactly what I got today. Here is the aburoi bincho with crispy rincon and a ponzu oreshi sauce, roasted and pickled beets with maple apple cider vinaigrette and baby greens, tiger prawn cake with Asian slaw covered in sweet chili aioli, and Fraser Valley pork cheeks with roasted heirloom potatoes, maple miso sauce, and a juniper blueberry compote. <sighs> Hello! So the first item I went for was the beet salad, and here is me having some baby greens. I'm normally quite a fan of baby greens already, so I can't complain, and the vinaigrette gives a nice sweet and tangy flavor. I don't really like beets, however, I find the sweetness of it just a little odd, but since it's cut into smaller pieces and soaked in the vinaigrette, I have them anyways. And they're actually more tolerable for me than in most salads or side dishes I've had them in. Second dish! Here is a nice juicy piece of tuna in the ponzu sauce. I'm really excited looking at the color. It was fresh and just the right amount of thickness. This is my why so delicious face. Having another one, nom 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 nom. Item 3! It kind of looks like a takoyaki from this angle, and at first this reminded me of the crab claws you get at Asian weddings, where it's like a crab meatball. This one had a nice one-to-one -one ratio of slaw to meat, but I'm kind of a huge fan of their ebi shrimp, so I wish I got that instead. Number 4! I simply love, love, love potatoes of every kind, so you can't really make a bad potato for me. The skin was nice and crunchy while the insides were soft, so I'm a happy camper. The pork cheeks were so fall apart tender that I didn't really need to use much force to tear apart a piece, and I didn't have to chew much either. I think the miso did a great job of adding that extra savory flavor. I had forgotten that this was blueberry compote at this point, so my internal thoughts were, holy crap, it's blueberry compote and it's amazing. The subtle sweetness of it mixed with the savory beef is a great combination. Here's me trying to capture that moment. Dun 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 dun. Last but not least, we begin the beautiful close-up of the sushi. This set includes the chef's selection of nigiri, a roll, and then two pieces of their signature aburi oshi. Let's eat! So each time that a dish is brought to the table, the server will patiently go through each and every dish. However, this is where my memory starts getting hazy and they don't tell me on the menu specifically what I ate. So I had to use my detective skills. I believe the first piece is the hamachi aburi. And it was good. Further detective skills tell me that this can possibly be the Zuko Meguro. But honestly, I feel like whichever sushi you end up encountering on your trip, you'll love it. Because the beauty is in searing the top of the fish. What that does is it elevates the oily part of the fish so the sushi as a whole tastes richer and I find the oil makes everything appear softer to the bite too. Here is what I think is a sunset roll. If I end up being completely wrong on these, oh god I'm so sorry for making stuff up, but if this is the sunset roll, I'll have spicy tuna, cucumber, smoked salmon, and yuzu red onion salsa. I think what I'm trying to say with my gestures is that the yuzu gave a nice sweet coating to the roll, and mixed with the crunch of the cucumber and the spicy fish, it was interesting, but honestly probably the least favorite of the sushi pieces I've had. I'm fairly confident that this is the Aburi Ebi Oshi, and probably my second favorite sushi piece of the group. So again, the sear top gives a deliciously oily coating to the fish that also really hugs the white rice. And in return, the rice balances out the fattiness of the meat. It's only second best because I saved my favorite sushi last, and I think this just lacks that little something to claim first prize. 
Happy times definitely go by quickly on my last piece of the five sushi, shedding a silent tear. <laughs> This is the Abari Salmon Oshi, and if you ever order only one sushi dish at Minami or Miku, I highly urge you to order this one. So the reason why this gets my love is because not only is the top seared, which we all know by now just makes everything crazy better than its original, the center also contains a piece of raw salmon. So I feel like it hits you with two levels of texture and flavor. I'm getting that oily sear, but I'm also getting the refreshing and meaty center. Then they also top it off with just a tiny piece of pepper that gives the whole sushi a slight kick and it's really just one of the most delicious sushis I've ever had. This is my fist of why is this so good? The regular Zen box isn't included dessert, so this is why people come flocking for the dine out option. Here is their featured sorbet with a lemon cookie and seasonal fruit. If you ask me would I like a cup of ice cream or sorbet, I will 99% of the time say ice cream. But having a bite of their sorbet, I want to say passion fruit. I feel like the aromas are so strong and the flavors are so concentrated that I don't really miss ice cream. It was surprisingly creamy. You can see me mouth the word creamy. The lemon cookie has a really nice crunch to it and again it's all about contrasting textures which is why I think they put it with the sorbet. Overall I had a wonderful lunch at Minami and I recommend you check out their sister establishment Miku as well. To join me on my other adventures, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.